Welcome back to another video of TCG Card Simulator. Mm, today we're going to play day two of the insane start. Now, first of all, I just want to mention that we do need help. So if you go all the way to the bottom here that says go recruit, we want to get this guy as soon as we can, Zachary. But unfortunately, we need, we need to reach a level 10 in order to get him into our store. Now, I mentioned before, we can actually just sit here and open up cards. Um, while we're going to talk about the strategy we're going to use for today. So we're going to buy quite a lot of um, eight packs, which is the more expensive one. Oh, we got a $117 card there. And with that eight packs, uh, we're going to keep uh, stocking up these clients so they can actually buy more of the set item. I, I did explain it a little bit better in episode one or day one. So we're going to play day two right here. And uh, we're just going to speed run our fastest way to level 10 so we, we can get that guy into our store. Now I'm not going to just open up cards the whole day here. But we are going to try and max our experience that we get. We actually do get a lot of experience for selling these boxes as well. Uh, but this is just going to be a juicy start for now. And cards laying around, that helps nobody, to be honest. So we're just going to get experience from this. And then we are going to open up shop. And we're going to start with day two. What we also can do is we're going to... Yeah, we are going to do that. We're going to set up a second shelf. The second shelf is going to help us at least, at the very least... Um, hopefully they will random a different self and that's gonna help us quite a bit but yeah these experience doesn't help us too much but it's gonna get us closer to level 10 as fast as we can so why do we need Zachary uh, we're gonna have Zachary to uh, to help people on the um, on the checkout because the speed of the checkout doesn't matter too much so that's going to help us a little bit, though. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to my DIY and we're going to buy another small cabinet. And then we're going to place that right next to the one we already have. So we want it to be locked on so that it will look like this. And we'll just use these. And now we're going to buy for the rest of our money. Well, it should be this one. Because of, you know, the fee for delivery. It's raining boxes. Hallelujah, it's raining boxes. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a system here. Because I saw I could actually make more money on day one. But, you know, close to 5k, that's good enough, in my opinion. We're going to open up these boxes first before we uh, throw them to the floor. And uh, we have quite a few clients already waiting here. But now there's not that many, only one. Okay, let's open. Day two starts right here. I'm gonna wait for another guy. There's two more guys. So that guy is unhappy. You only bought one box. Another guy coming. See, Zachary would have helped here uh, already while I was refilling those boxes. Now, these prices is not cool. I'm going to reprice this. Uh, we want it to be just 29 flat would be fine.
Wanna get these guys out of our shop? I don't want to throw that away. Thank you, Mr. Heisenberg. Uh, it will also, once we get Zachary, it will also help us to... Talk about that soon. To fill up the boxes. I will talk about that once we get Zachary, which is the first guy we can hire. to order more. Thirteen dollars. Twenty nice. So we are level six now. Thanks, girl. Her arm must have been sore holding that cash for that long. Poor little lady. So you can re we can we can reconstruct the box like that. So that's uh, just putting the boxes together. Okay, he's not gonna buy. Get stinky out, highest priority. You bought a lot at least. And paid exact cash, which is insane. That's not good. Three. Dude, I'm sweating here. Holy. 145. 
58. These numbers is not cool though. What we're using. You only bought one. Eleven. one could have given me a one dollar tip you know what i'm saying oh lagging a bit what the heck bought that whole shelf. walking against it. So, two dollar. Come on, Zachary. The shop needs you, my brother. What is typing? I think he is buying so much. Thank you, Eisenberg.
20 minutes left. Okay, this thing is not gonna buy anything. I couldn't leave. Yeah, he's not buying. One, seven, four. Okay, that's the end of the day. So I can actually talk about what you should do after this. Okay, so... You can see this one is half, this one is half. So what we can do is move items from one box to the other. Um, and we can have like half dead boxes or whatever. Further away. So your closer boxes will be ones that you can use. You can see also we only gained two levels uh, by doing this. So we can actually get way more experience. Way more experience by um, opening up cards until level 10. That should be way better. So we can revive boxes essentially and then buy more. Just once we have Zachary, it's going to be so much better. Because I will then just focus on one thing. And that is by restocking. And I will do the restocking, not Zachary, because he will stand outside if there's nothing to restock. And I just want him to, like, help the clients to, you know. So now what we can do is, while we're here, we could be throwing boxes, like, far or something like that inside shop that is not, uh, not empty. Uh, empty ones we can throw there. Uh, clients don't really care about boxes at all. Uh, they don't, it, it doesn't affect their customer satisfaction at all. It, it all depends on the items you sell and the items you buy. So, this is going to be day two. Hopefully you guys did enjoy so far. Uh, we, I don't know how far we're going to play with this. Uh, we'll see how everything is going to go uh, along the lines. But I want to get Zachary, and I think the best way we can do that is by opening up, um, opening up these. Let me just buy... Yeah, let me just buy quite a lot of them. Say a thousand dollars worth. I'm gonna just stand and open up these uh, until my eyes is blue. Uh, we're gonna just open this until we're level 10. And I'll catch you guys, obviously, in day three. We can actually start day three just to see the end results. Uh, so let me just do that quickly. So we can actually see the end results here. We made a, a shocking $6,480 on day two. Let's see if we can break that $10,000 mark in day three. I don't think we're going to do that without Zachary, so we need to get that guy as soon as we possibly can. We can most probably just set up another rack uh, just to make things a little bit RNG easier, if that makes sense. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!